Okay, this is the third video, I think, in the uh, series of Quartz Composer tutorials. If you've gotten this far, hopefully you've already seen how to open Quartz Composer, what the UI looks like, uh, you've un you understand what the three different types of patches are, and how to get access to their settings. Um, now we're actually going to start connecting some things together in a meaningful way and show something on the canvas. To do that, we first have to understand the coordinate system. So if we take a look at this image, it shows us that there, uh, we work in units, we don't work in pixels generally, and in Quartz Composer, that canvas is uh, two units wide. So this is zero on the x-axis. Uh, it's also zero on the y-axis and the z-axis. We, we can work in 3D, so all of those uh, axes meet in this origin which is in the middle. Uh, you might be used to it being in the upper left if you're used to processing or something like this. So uh, in Quartz Composer it's here at, at the, the center. Uh, so if this is uh, one unit and this is another unit making this whole thing two units wide, how tall is it in units? It's not so easy. It would be nice if it were just one unit in that direction and one unit in that direction, uh, but you understand that that would only happen if you had a square canvas. Right. So if the width was the same as the height, but obviously we're working in 16 by 9 right now, you can see that the height is not the same as the width. Uh, if I change to 14 by, not, uh, 14 by 3, it's the, the ratio is different still. It looks more like a square, but it's not really a square. So what this chart is showing us, this diagram, is that uh, it's always two units wide, but it's not always uh, two units tall, and often it won't be. So it's less than two. And the way that you find that is to just say it's... Um, it's divided by the aspect ratio. So uh, let's find out what is the height of this thing. If this is the if the width is two, what's the height? Um, we can probably just actually figure this out in Quartz Composer. Uh, a really nice patch um, that just displays something at the bottom is called instructions. So it's good for debugging or just doing something quick like we're at right now. We just want to see the results of some uh, math to determine what the height is of this thing. So I'll put it back at 16 by 9. Let me resize this a bit. And uh, so right now it says hello world, and that's because that's the, uh, that's the default text. I can double click on this to change it. Uh, I can also use the patch inspector to change these input values. I can also use the parameters pane. So you should have seen all that in the previous video. Um, but what I'm really interested in is can I get it to a display to display here what the actual height of this canvas is given that it's 16 by 9 as an aspect ratio? Well, there's, um, there's actually a patch called rendering destination dimensions and I should be able to uh, take the width which is a uh, number and uh, show it here um, at it, in the instructions down at the bottom. Uh, you know, I showed you this before, like if you try and connect something uh, in Quartz Composer that doesn't match up, for example, this is a color. Uh, if I try and connect width to the color, oh, it actually would work. Well, all right. In a lot of cases, uh, if you're trying to connect two things that are incompatible with each other, they won't connect. It just won't allow you to connect them. But uh, in this case, you know, a number is pretty close to text. And uh, if I connect these two, it, do it just converts it to a string from a number to a string, and it shows up as the number two. So um, that's the width. We already knew that from the chart, that the width was going to be 2. Well, uh, what if I, and, and this is important to note here, if I take this output, the height, and I drag it over to text, the other one will disappear. You can only have one thing connected to an input at a time. But we could use height in many places at once, and that's what will happen. Often you'll see lots of uh, noodles coming out of the outputs, but only one can come into an input. That's just the way it works. Uh, so now, here's actually the height. That's uh, showing that this is two uh, units wide, but only 1.125 units tall. If I change to four by three, you see that number gets higher. Uh, it's actually uh, two wide and 1.5 high. So according to this uh, diagram, the math looks like it works out, right? Because uh, it's four by three. Uh, if the width was two, and uh, well, so let's say the width were four, right? It's actually four by three. So if we divide that by two, we have a width of two, and we divide the three, that's one and a half. 
Uh, I don't know if that made any sense, but it makes sense to me. If it's 4 by 3, it should be 2 by 1 and a half, and that's, that's what the math is telling us, or at least what the patch is telling us. We can actually do the math ourselves. Uh, this thing says that the, the math is whatever the width is divided by aspect ratio, so let's try it. Uh, in fact, this patch gives us aspect ratio. So here we're going to start uh, really doing what Quartz Composer patch, uh, compositions look like, which is combining lots of uh, patches with noodles. So um, here is a, uh, here's the width, and I'm going to take that width and divide it by the aspect ratio. And I'll take that output and send it to text. Now, right now, that is not dividing. That's, that's plus. So this is just adding the two of them together. But um, this is a weird patch. None of the other ones really look like this. But if you double click on it, uh, it gives you more options. So there it is. The math works out. The width of 2 divided by the aspect ratio, which is 1.333333, uh, gives us uh, 1.5 as a height. So. Um, this could be important, and it, it will become important in, uh, in a bit. But for now, it's, it's worth understanding how the coordinates work. And hopefully, that makes sense. Um, in fact, let me, uh, let me just show you one place where that becomes important. So, so far, uh, we have a, we've used a, uh, I'm not sure that we've used a billboard, but let's use a billboard. Let's take an image from my hard drive and drop it into Quartz Composer. That's all you have to do to include an image in Quartz Composer. And in fact, if I save this composition right now, the image is actually embedded in there. You don't have to worry about this original file anymore. I will take that image and I will put it on the billboard. And now I've got a car on the screen. Uh, if I um, change the width to 2, it should fill up the whole screen, because we know the width is 2. Um, now, basically, if we look at the patch inspector for this billboard and go to the settings page, it tells us that it's figuring out the height for us automatically. We could have it figure out the width for us automatically instead, but the default is for it to figure out. You see, there is, there is no height uh, in this list of um, options. So you, we give it the width, and it figures out the height. Billboards are pretty limited, though. They just allow you to place something on the canvas. Uh, they don't allow you to change the width and height independently. Uh, you have to have an image attached to it. So for example, if I change the color to pink, uh, it, it doesn't actually show up here because there's no image. So billboards don't work unless there's an image attached to it. You can see now it's turned the car a hue of pink. Uh, so maybe a, another patch that we'd like to know about is uh, Sprite. And in fact, you'll use this probably more than billboards. So Sprite, you can see it's more complicated. It has more options. But one of them is similar, at least. And look, it's showing up whether or not I have an image attached to it. So that's one difference. Um, now, I can actually, uh, if I go into the patch inspector, some of the interesting things are now we're working in 3D. We didn't have Z position and uh, Z rotation and so on. Z position is moving us forward and backward in space. Uh, in addition to Y position and X position. And Z rotation actually can make this thing uh, rotate. Okay, this is actually, <laughs> so it's actually rotating around the Z axis, which means that it's going to spin in this orientation. But if I rotate around the Z, the uh, X axis, you can see that it's actually rotating in 3D. Uh, with Billboard, we only had something generically called rotation, which was rotating around the Z axis. So you can change the width and height independently, uh, and so on. So now if I connect an image here, you can see that it actually allows me to accidentally squash this thing, uh, where a billboard could not do that before. So why do I care? Why would I want to accidentally squash them? Prob you probably don't. And in fact, if I wanted to show this at the right size, I have to do a little bit of work to get this to show up correctly like the billboard did. So here is a width of 2. Uh, but I, what do I? What is the height? I don't know. So uh, we did the math already. We know how the math works. We know that the height should be whatever the width was divided by the aspect ratio. So let's find a uh, patch called Image Dimensions, and this will allow us to take that same image, feed it to Image Dimensions, and get its width and its height. So there it is. It's not squashed. Um, of course, I don't want it to just give me the width. The width it's saying is uh, what is it saying? It's like 
4.167. That's weird. I, I actually want the width to be uh, 2 because I said it should be the size of the screen. So there it is at 2, but the height is totally screwed up. So here's, here's how we can do it, the same way we did the math before. Let's get out our math patch and uh, divide the width oops divide the width uh, or sorry we want two as a width uh, we're going to divide that by the aspect ratio and that should give us the height so now it's not squished i don't think it doesn't look squished two yeah oh, well it it seems right it looks a little squished but i don't think it is uh, oh, that's because we're <laughs> rotated a little bit. So there we go. Now it's not squished. Okay, so I think that's a good place to stop. This is uh, basically now we're seeing how to interconnect lots of uh, patches with noodles. And uh, we're able to see how we can do some math. We're able to uh, use sprites and billboards to show images in different ways. And... Um, and we understand the coordinate system. So that's a good place to stop. In the next video, I'll show you how you can show uh, other things like text and um, uh, video and so on, which is actually very easy. So uh, stay tuned.